Okay, before we go any farther, I want to talk about something. There's some young people out there that apparently don't believe I have the power of the force. I know. Hey, I went to the Jedi school back in the day. I was, but all right, I'm going to prove myself once and for all. Hey everybody, May the 4th is coming up, so stand by for a Star Wars toy review. Yeah, so this is the movie realization figure from Bandai. Uh, it's also released in Tomasi Nation, so this would have been available in, in North America. Uh, this is probably about four years old, but it's new enough. It's got the Disney logo on it somewhere. Here's Disney right there. And uh, this is this is kind of what you do when you're running out of ways to make Darth Vader's. There's a million Darth Vader's in the world, right? And But it, it kind of relates to Japanese culture. They had the samurai back in the old days. And the samurai armor looks a lot like you know what Darth Vader wears, especially the helmet. The helmet really evokes that samurai look, which I think is what they were going for uh, when they created the Darth Vader figure, uh, or the, the, the Darth Vader character. Let's get a close look at the box. So you see in the front of the box, that classic pose, you know, Luke, come over to the Darth side. The Darth, the Darth side or the dark side. <laughs> I'm your father. And uh, they've got that nice decorative uh, 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 finger guard for the, for the uh, his samurai sword, which is very cool. And he's also got that imperial seal on the top of his helmet too. We'll look at better, get a better look. And you got some options. You got the uh, extended lightsaber sword and non-extended, non-activated. You know. All right. Well, let's open them up. Yeah, I have to be careful here because the parts aren't really. They don't really fit in that tightly. And if you're looking careful, you'll notice I'm already missing one of the extra hands. He's got two four, six, uh, uh, one, two, three, four pairs of hands, right? But one is, is missing. I'm sure we'll make out okay. And he's sitting in there, and, there, and there's his lightsabers uh, slash sword. Let's get him out of the box. Yeah, there's some PVC smell. Not so much. This was a little bit older, I think, than my uh, Boba Fett. Okay. Okay, did I say that he was missing uh, one of his hands? I lied. Uh, after I fished around in the box some, I, I saw that one of the hands had fallen down uh, and next to him. He, it's there. What you got is the, uh, one, two, three, four sets of hands. And right now I've got his force levitation hands going there, right? Force levitation hands. He's got a hand for like grabbing something like a lightsaber, left and right hand. He's got the fist hand. And uh, he's got the fist hand, and he's got the lights, and he's got, this one is really more like the lightsaber holding hand. He's got two of those. So I don't know what this, he doesn't really have the grabbing the neck hand, which I, I was looking for that, but I may do with this one. Maybe this was what was meant to be the grabbing the neck thing. You know, but I think the PC, we don't have the, Darth Vader doesn't grab people's necks anymore, right? He does that, he just does it. Uh, choke yourself kind of thing. All right, let's get him out of the box. So here he is. Comes in some directions. You don't need that, right? <laughs> I've got him with one, a fist, and then the right hand is the holding the lightsaber. So he's coming, he, he comes with the lightsaber. And what's interesting, uh, he's got the technology, uh, the samurai technology that make his lightsaber blade shaped like a samurai sword. It's not round, it's a blade shape. And even the hilt is somewhat curved, like you see uh, a lot of samurai swords have a semi-curved tilt. This will come out if you, you know, so just, you could glue it back in. And you see you've also got, I mean, they could have just made this coming out and then you'd have both, but instead they gave you a separate uh, lightsaber hilt without the saber extended. And so that could go, and this little, uh, yeah, you would put the hilt and it would go in right in here. There's a little place for it right here on, on his side here, there. So there's a place for him. His other, his short sword, <laughs> it does not come out. It, it, there's, no, there's no separate sword. He's only got the lightsaber. And I'll go ahead and put that into his fist here, into his hand, and he'll hold the lightsaber for you. Yeah. Samurai Taisho. When they say Taisho, oh, it's upside down. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Samurai Taisho means 
He's a samurai of the era of Taisho, the Taisho Emperor. That's the name of the emperor, dude. And this was like about the time of World War I. So this would definitely be, uh, you could say, the, the last of the samurais. Uh, after that, samurais, were, the whole idea was pretty much done. Uh, they went with standing armies. Before the samurai were the armies, after, by then, no, they invented guns and they're giving people guns. They don't need fancy sword fight dudes anymore. So, poor samurai, they got nothing to do but be robbers and stuff, ronin. And we already, uh, we already reviewed the ronin Boba Fett, right? So anyway, it, but it's very detailed armor he's got here. This the cape is super heavy. The helmet in many pieces, and you wonder, can you take the helmet off? You can take the helmet off, but there's no face underneath there, okay? There's just a peg. So you take the helmet off and you've got a peg, so I could change this his head with Boba Fett if I wanted, or the other characters, if they're of the same size. So many detailed parts, and these are all so many separate parts, see? And he, these little seals are for the Taisho Emperor, that, that signifies the Taisho Emperor. That's what that's all about. And he's got the big boots, he's got the little shoes, and he's Samurai Darth Vader. Yeah, I gotta kind of stand in crooked, don't I? All, there's a posture, huh? Definitely a well articulated figure. Okay, before we go any farther, I wanna talk about something. There's some young people out there that apparently don't believe I have the power of the Force. I know. Hey, I went to the Jedi school back in the day. I was, but all right, I'm gonna prove myself once and for all. Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this apple here. I'm going to put it on top of my assistant Reno's head. And I'm going to slice it off with my lightsaber blindfolded. Wait, right? Ready? What? what? You're going to cut my head off. I'm not going to cut your head off. No, I don't believe you. Your problem is you don't believe in the power of the force. All right, here. Tell you what. Can you just toss it up? All right? All right. Just toss it up and then get out of the way. Okay. But blindfolded. All right. Ready? <laughs> Set, go! Ah! Oh yeah! Let me just ask you, do you have any Star Wars toys at home that you haven't opened that they're still in the box for some reason? I have a few. Let me show you what I got that I have never opened. I don't know why. Let me show you. Yeah, I've got Star Wars I haven't opened. here. Here's the Star Wars Black uh, Yoda, right? With the thing, the backpack thing. Here's, I got Star Wars Tech Deck. Authentic tech deck, at least one, and then I've got these backs, card backs without the, the deck. They must have come unglued or something. And then I've got just throwing them in the box. And I've got some fake Star Wars figure boards. Or, yeah, those are figure boards. They're just really fake. And I've got these from Japan, these die cast things from Takara. Told, uh, yeah, Takara told me I got the Walker, and I've got and a death trooper and queso, K to us, you know, queso, what do you call them? Queso? Okay, so, and oh, these are actually cool. Uh, I got these from this place in Hong Kong that sells old toys. These are uh, Hasbro's Kenner, uh, Kenner labeled, but this one was Hasbro. This one is a Kenner label, and it's from uh, 2000, 1997. So, uh, 23 years old. Admiral Akbar, right? And then here, this guy. You say, oh, that's Admiral Akbar too. No, no, it's not Admiral Akbar. It's an, just because he looks like it. No, this guy is called Mon Calamari, which is funny because Calamari is a kind of squid, right? Yeah. And I, I got these because I was going to do a joke, a, a skit where like people keep thinking this guy is is Admiral Akbar, and, and Admiral Akbar says, no, just because we look alike, uh, you know, because we're the same species, you think we're all the same? No. And, of course, Admiral Akbar has the same, what's Admiral Akbar's famous line? It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, my, 
yeah, my cosplay is great. I just got to put the costume on. That's all. Yeah. And and I got more. What? I got the, uh, you know, I got this. Stormtrooper. I got Bandai First Order Stormtrooper. Why did I get this stuff? I don't open it. Captain Phasma. And I got, uh, I get from Bandai a Death Trooper and K2SO. Why do I get these? And then when Star Wars first came back on that Force Friday thing, I went and I bought all the, uh, all the first wave of the figures, and I never opened them and talked about them. Why? Why? Da Poe Dameron, you know, with his little uh, orange jumpsuit, his flight suit, and all the guys. Yeah. I never opened these, and then you get these, always get these characters that you know. Who are these guys? I never, I don't remember seeing them in the movie. Who is this guy? Uh, <laughs> uh, e Dad. E Dad. E -dad. Who is he, Dad? I didn't see him in the movie. Maybe like for two seconds he's in one scene and maybe in the cantina or something. Wait, I got more. I got more. Again, Bad Guy First Order Stormtrooper. Why do I get these? And, of course, Ray. Uh, this is a Hasbro one, Ray. This was on that Among the First Reliefs, the first waves. When they came back, I forget what was the name of the Star Wars. Then Star Wars Episode 25 and uh, Rogue One. One of the dudes, yeah, and this uh, the Black Series, so you got to spend more money on, you know, just a plain old stormtrooper with a couple of weapons. Big deal, right? And then, uh, who is this guy? Obi Obi Wan Kenobi, Obi Wan Kenobi, the young Obi Wan, right? And R two D two. This is Kyoto, not to be confused with Bandai Kyoto, Japan. So expensive, five thousand six hundred yen. That's about $50 I spent. And you want to talk Darth Vader? You want to talk Darth Vader? I, I, can, I can have a Darth Vader museum. This is a, a uh, Kyoto Darth Vader with a Revolve Tech uh, type of articulation. I never opened. Here's another Bandai Darth Vader. Just another Darth Vader. There's a million of them. That's why it's good to have the samurai one. There's another Bandai. Isn't the same one? Did I get two of the same one? Apparently so. I need to give one to my son. Uh, and uh, uh, I got the little one, and I got another. Uh, oh, that, that no, that's Kylo Ren. Oh yeah, I got you, Kylo Ren. It's this Kylo Ren from Bandai, and I got this Kylo Ren from Hasbro. No, Takara told me. Excuse me. No, it's Hasbro, but I bought it in Japan, so it has Takara told me on the back. They distribute it, but it's still a Hasbro Kylo Ren. And I got the little tiny Kylo Ren. And then come back, I got one more Darth Vader. This is from Medicom Toys. So uh, I, I guess it's like four different companies that I've got Darth Vader's from. But see, the boxes get beat up because of where I live and I, I move a lot. A Star Wars Death Star playset from Takar told me you don't see a lot of these around. I do uh, hope to, I hope to do a, a skit a video skit about this, utilizing this and some other things. Yeah, and the electronic voice changer helmet. I never opened this. Why? It's so cool. I said I got this, but I have now I have a costume to go with that. So we can do that. And and <laughs> a lightsaber that I never opened. I never opened this lightsaber and played with it. Toys to be played with, not kept on the shelf. And yeah, and a tie, I've got a small TIE fighter. I've got a small TIE fighter from Hasbro, but wait. And I've got this huge TIE fighter. It's huge. Look, it's big enough that you can get the full size. It comes with the full size guy. See, here's the, uh, the basic little bitty figures that they, they give you these days. They don't give you full size action figures anymore. But this one's big enough for your Star Wars Black Series guys to ride inside. So, but I never opened it up. I gotta do something. I gotta do a skit with this guy. It's got, you can, it'll hold two guys apparently, and we can fly around. So maybe with the Death Star playset and this, and the Stormtrooper helmet, and I've got the Poe Dameron helmet. I didn't show you that. It's, it's, not, well, I've got it somewhere. And that, and the lightsaber, we can put all that together in the one video show. Would you like that? Would you like that? Comment on my Instagram channel because they don't let you comment on YouTube anymore. And until next time, have a great day. No one I know is out to
kill me, I guess I'm doing okay I'm lost, I'm lost Among the millions Just an empty head Filled with the sky